What's good, Cancer? So we are doing your reading for you and your person. My readings are for Sun, Moon, and Rising. They are general, so if it doesn't resonate with you, check out your Moon and your Rising video. Any extra information you would like to know is in the description box, okay? So Cancer, what do we have for Cancer? And their person, universe, spirits, and guides. What do we have for Cancer? And their person. One more. Three shuffles. What do we have for Cancer? And their person. Ace of Pentacles in reverse wanted to show its face. So there could be something happening where it's just bad timing or um, it's just unattainable for whatever reason. But let's see. Oh, jeez. Good start. Good start. Okay. All right, so Cancer, in your feelings in regards to you and this person, we have the Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands and Cancer's feelings. With the Six of Swords in reverse. And the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, Cancer, you are very defensive toward this person, okay? You may feel like this person puts you in a position where you have to be defensive. You may feel like you can't be transparent with this person. Um, you may feel like they hold your words against you or they hold your feelings against you, possibly. And with the Six of Swords in reverse, it's like you're definitely feeling the need to resist the situation. You don't feel like this is a healthy situation. Some of you guys may feel taken advantage of, okay, financially or whatever it may be. Um, Just give me one more card. With the Five of Cups in reverse. You feel like this person is just going to leave you disappointed. It's like you're trying to emotionally disconnect from this person or situation because you feel like they're going to they're gonna leave you disappointed, regretting investing into it. Um, and again, you're resisting the situation and you feel like this person constantly makes you feel like you have to be in, on the defense or um, you feel like, you know, they hold things against you. You know, you can't, you don't feel like you can be vulnerable with the situation. Okay, a lot of you guys don't feel like it's attainable either with the King of Pentacles in reverse or you feel like you can't give this person what they're wanting so there could just be a fear in that regard as well how you're viewing this person is the devil card so tell me about the devil with how cancer is viewing this person with the ten of cups in reverse and the page of swords in reverse So Cancer, I feel like you view this as like a very tainted, toxic situation. You may feel like this person is, um, you know, trying to seduce you, trying to tempt you, trying to, um, it's like you feel like they're pulling you in, but pushing you away at the same time. And with the Ten of Cups in reverse, you may feel like this per person has no intention on committing to you, no intention on giving you what you need. You may feel like this person is not on the same page as you emotionally. And with the Page of Swords in reverse, you may see this as someone that is very Im immature when it comes to their communication. Um, you may feel as well like they point the finger at you or they blame you as to why things are the way you are things are the way they are. It's almost like someone that pulls you, you're viewing them as someone that pulls you in or they're a temptation or or there's something here that's toxic. Um, you may feel like they're struggling with addictions as well. You're viewing them as someone that pulls you in but then accuses you as to why they can't invest into this or they put the blame on you. 
You know, they put everything up to you. That's how you're viewing this person. You may feel like they make a lot of assumptions about you as well, which causes you to feel like you have to be on the defense all the time. Okay. In your person's feelings, we have the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and Cancer's person's feelings with the Two of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. Cancer, this person loves the shit out of you. They love the shit out of you. <laughs> Two of Cups and Knight of Cups in their feelings. This is someone that they feel... This is someone that feels swept off their feet by you. They feel like this is someone... They feel like you are their person. You are their counterpart. They have a lot of love for you, but they're keeping it to themselves. This is someone that is not expressing their love. They're not allowing themselves to be emotionally available. And again, this is someone that is very inspired by this connection. They feel like you give them some level of support. They feel nurtured. Um, it's like they feel like you are their person, but with the Seven of Swords... There could be a little bit of a denial happening for this person or they don't want to acknowledge or admit how much they truly love you. Because this is someone that is not expressing this love. They're holding it to themselves. But they love the shit out of you. Why is this person so... Why is this person holding, holding back? Because the Nine of Wands, they may not trust it. They may not trust it, trust it. And with the King of Cups in reverse at the bottom and the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. It's someone that's tired. Um, they, may, they may have been hurt in the past. Not that that's your responsibility, but this is someone that doesn't trust it. Okay. How they're viewing you is the lovers in reverse. Tell me about the lovers in reverse. With the Nine of Swords... And the Five of Swords in reverse. Cancer, this is someone that is viewing you as very nervous to fully give into the situation, okay? And in your feelings, I feel like a lot of you guys are, but this is someone that is viewing you as overthinking, being very nervous to fully indulge in the situation. Um, they're viewing you as someone that doesn't want the drama, doesn't want the games. They may feel like you're pulling back as well because you don't want drama or you don't want the games. But there is a part of this person that views you as someone that's defeated or feeling defeated in this connection. They may feel like you're already giving up or you're already pulling back as well. And with the lovers in reverse, they may feel like you don't trust them, okay? Um, they feel like you don't trust them and you're very nervous about this. You're very um, exhausted by the situation. They may feel like you're tempted to give up in, in regards to the situation. They feel like you don't trust them. The Nine of Swords is also pre-ascension energy, so they may feel like you're nervous to end another cycle as well to fully give into the situation, okay? In your hopes, Cancer, we have the Magician in Reversed. I'm going to switch decks here. I did shuffle this as well before I got on here. Tell me about the Magician in Reversed and Cancer's hopes. With the Knight of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. Cancer, I, I feel like you're hoping for very clear communication from this person that they want to fully give into this, okay? Because right now, this person got you feeling like you have to be on the de defense. Right now, this person got you regretting investing into the situation at all. And with the Magician in Reverse, I don't feel like you want to initiate anything with this person. There's a lot of self-doubt happening for you. You may feel like you're wasting your time. And until this person makes you feel like you're not wasting your time, I feel like you're just hoping for direct communication from this person that they're willing to to put the effort in um, because right now you feel like they're pushing you away or you feel like they're making you feel some form of way or putting the blame on you or making you feel small or, or whatever it may be and I feel like you're hoping to you know kind of turn a, turn a blind eye to the situation until this person gives you very clear understanding in, in the fact that they want you they want to invest into this okay in your person's hopes, we have the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in Cancer's person's hopes.
Lord have mercy. With the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Give me one more. The Justice card. So this person is wanting to fight for this cancer. They are. This is someone that is mentally exhausted by the situation. They're feeling defeated. They're feeling drained. Um, this is someone that is coming out of a lot of toxic cycles themselves. Um, but with, with the Justice card, this is someone that wants to fight for it, but they want to do it the right way, right? The Justice card is about doing things the right way, being fair for everyone involved. Um, this is someone that wants to be able to fight for this. They want to win you, you know? I mean, the Knight of Wands, again, that's a really cheesy saying. The Knight of Wands comes in to prove, comes in to win. They want to be able to fight for this, but with the Ten of Swords, there's something here that needs to come to an end, whether that's on their side or yours. And this is someone that is hoping that whatever this painful frustrating cycle has been or whatever cycle needs to end in order for you guys to make this work they're hoping that something here comes to an end so they so they can fight for this because they want to be able to do it the right way they want to be able to um they're very sexually attracted to you as well fyi but they refuse to fully give into this. They're very defensive right now because they want to do it the right way. So if they're already involved or if you are or if there's something here that is making this unattainable, it's like they want to do it the right way. Okay. The action you plan on taking is the chariot card. Tell me about the chariot energy for action cancer plans on taking. <laughs> With the chariot in reverse. Yikes. Now, if you can see in the chariot that is upright, it kind of looks like the two of wands. It's like, which way are you gonna go, Cancer? Which way are you gonna go? And I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling um, pressure here to make a decision to choose a specific road, choose a specific path. You may be choosing between two people or two different lifestyles, but when it comes to actually developing the energy to be able to push forward and make some form of decision, you're having a hard time being motivated. You may be feeling a little bit drained nine of wands in reverse you may feel like your energy is overextended or you may feel like you're overexerting yourself and it's like you're having a hard time you know prioritizing any major changes here just give me one more and i feel like when it comes to you and this person there's a part of you that feels like what's the point in investing into this the nine of wands in reverse can talk about feeling like you're fighting a never-ending battle feeling like you're um feeling like you already lost or like what's the point but with the king of cups the fool energy i do see you moving toward this person or being more available okay there could be something here that's coming to an end as well it could be a marriage or there's a home situation coming to an end and you're getting out of your head not letting fear hold you back you are becoming more available to this person but again i feel like it's taking some time because right now you feel like you're overexerted, you're drained energetically um there's a lot of pressure in regards to what's the right decision what am i really supposed to do just give me one more card in regards to how the king of cups correlates with this person with the ace of cups in reversed queen of cups in reverse Cancer, I feel like you're more so, you're more so, you feel like this is one-sided or you feel like it's unrequited. You have a lot of love for this person. You want to support this person. You want to be there for this person. And I feel like you're making yourself available to this person when it comes to your emotions, when it comes to your support. The King of Cups can be very therapeutic. But you're still looking at this person as, you're looking at this person as unavailable or you feel like it's not mutual here. 
And I feel like until you see more balance between the two of you, you're just going to sit back with the King of Cups. You're going to more so focus on controlling your emotions. And I feel like there is a temptation here, Cancer, to indulge into this connection with the King of Cups because the King of Cups can be very overindulgent. Um, be, be mindful of addictions. He can be the drinker as well, right? But it's like there is a temptation here to indulge in this you know, fantasy or in, in, in something that you have a lot of love for. But when it comes to actually putting in the work to get it, and I feel like that's why the fool is here because there could be a little bit of reckless energy or foolish energy. And we all get in this energy. I'm not, you know, trying to nitpick, but it's like you're wanting to indulge in something that you're not really putting in the work to have, you know? And it's because you're feeling drained or you feel overexerted. Some of you guys may have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder as well when it comes to this person. So, I don't know. It's almost like you're wanting something that you can't have, okay? Whether they're in a situation you are or there's something external to the two of you that is keeping this from coming together. It's like you're wanting to indulge into something that is just unavailable to you or you're, you're too tired or you don't have enough motivation to actually attain, action your person plans on taking is the queen of pentacles with the page of swords in reverse four of swords in reverse and the moon all right so cancer your person five of pentacles this is someone that feels abandoned by you. They feel like you came into your li their life, swept them off their feet, or gave them some form of love that love that they're not used to. And now this is someone that feels like you're you abandoned them or you just kind of, you know, left them on red, whatever the situation is. And with the Queen of Pentacles, this is someone that is wanting something serious. They want loyalty from you. They want to give you loyalty. But at the same time, Cancer, this is someone that's been observing you. They've been keeping an eye, eye on you, but they feel like they have to ignore the situation, okay? And I do feel, again, there is going to be very blunt communication. The Page of Swords in reverse can be very blunt, can be a little bit reckless, so keep that in mind. But there's going to be very blunt communication from this person in regards to the facts, okay? What they're overwhelmed about, what they fear is going to happen if they invest into the situation. Um, there's, there's very direct communication coming from this person because they feel like they've been waiting forever they feel like it's like this is someone that doesn't see this going anywhere they don't feel like it's anything attainable they don't feel like there's any growth happening between the two of you and i feel like there's a frustrated energy coming from this person because it's like why would you come into my life sweep me off my feet again this is just their per perception why would you come into my life sweep me off my feet just to leave me high and dry and with nothing attainable Okay, because again, they want to do it the right way or that is in their hopes. They want to do something the right way. But let's see what the most likely outcome will be. What is the most likely outcome for cancer and this person? Someone's holding on to a karmic cycle, Cancer, okay? It could be you, could be your person. Based off the energy, whoever is over here, again, roles could be reversed, but someone is holding on to a karmic cycle. And I feel like this person admires the shit out of you. It's clear in their feelings that they love the shit out of you, Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups. But it's like, this is someone that is waiting on truth or they're waiting for something to be, they're waiting for clarity. You know, and this is someone that's very greedy with their energy. They refuse to give into it. This is someone that will sit there and wait forever until they can do it the right way. And again, I don't, I don't feel like this person is going to open up or be more emotionally available. Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups in their feelings. This is someone that refuses to be emotionally available until... It's like they feel like, what's that saying? Enchanted Cottage, I love you, girl. But she always says, they, wrote, they feel like you wrote them a love check that you can't own up to or you can't cash out or whatever that saying is. But anyways, it's like this person feels like you invested into this and you can't follow through with it. And I feel like 
this is someone that is going to choose to focus on themselves and hold back until something becomes more attainable cancer again roles could definitely be reversed but let's see give me a love card for cancer We have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning expansions, new phase, prepare for a un union. So some of you guys need to let some form of ascension process happen. Um, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. We have healing heart. And then we have the snake. Competition, enemy, malicious. Oh, I don't like that card. And then we have clock, needs time, takes time, um, progress. And then we have palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. So I feel like, again, this is about allowing yourself to ascend into a new space to be able to have what you want, right? Um, right now, I feel like you're stuck between two worlds, Cancer. And I feel like your person loves the shit out of you, but they want to do it the right way. They're going to be very blunt in regards to what their fear fears are. Um, I feel like this person is, again, very reluctant to open up emotionally. This is someone that's keeping their emotions very close to them. They're not really indulging into this because they feel like they have to ignore this because, and they're likely focusing on their money, on their stability. And I feel like you're just wanting to take this love and you want to go with it. But it's like there is some form of decision here that needs to be made by you in this reading, Cancer. So you could be dealing with another Cancer. We have Aries, Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo. Could be any sign as far as elements go. Okay, all the best.